These are our passports. These are our 50 states. This is the world. <laughs> okay, the board is kind of full this time around. Um, I did get dressed. Hold on, baby. No makeup on yet. Okay, so my board is done. I was a little bit behind, a little bit late. I'm awake, I'm dressed, no makeup kind of day. Um, but I didn't get my board done the other day for you guys, so I thought I would go ahead and do it this morning. This is going to be our board for the unit. Go with it. Pretty simple, right? So then, go right? They're go pretty simple. It. Terrific? Pretty simple, you guys. See? It's a lot, but it'll work out well, right? We're gonna go wash our faces, brush our teeth, and get ready for school, right? And no. No. Get ready for breakfast. For breakfast. What do you want for breakfast? Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Let's do it. <laughs> God, you deserve honor and praise. Of course, we started off our day with a little bit of Bible. We decided to start studying a bit more about Daniel, and we are using our action Bible that we got for Christmas. No, new law is announced. Daniel immediately recognizes the trap set for the dishonest advice. Good, speak clearly. Daniel makes his way home. It was really cool to see them take note of Daniel's faithfulness. No matter what consequences were ahead of him, they saw that he stood firm on what he believed. At the end of the day, King Darius cannot change the law. We've been working on reading more fluidly, but it's kind of hard when the Action Bible has so many awesome pictures that they get stuck looking at while they're reading. Oh well, I have prayed to you and nobody but you for my whole life. I'm not about to stop. Oh, Next, we moved on to a little coloring and story sequence. I got some pages off of the blog. I believe it was to the moon and back blog.net. And she had some really cute pages that I printed off that just illustrated the story of Daniel that I thought we could put the pages in order um, and they would have fun coloring. So we did that for a decent amount of time. More time than I had allotted for, but they were so excited and really into it. So tell me what you're doing now. I'm doing my story. <laughs> Are you having fun at school today? So we just had our sing soundtrack playing in the background and I let them have at it coloring their pages for their story sequence. I managed to finally pull them away from their coloring project and move on to the next thing that we had planned. I found these story sequence cards for Daniel in the Lion's Den. I believe it was on sundayschoolcrafts.net and I thought they were really cute. The illustrations are super cute and you guys already know how I feel about that. If you guys watched my planning video, you already saw me cut these out and laminate them and they're working out well. The angel comment. Okay, what's next? What's the last That's one? That's it. We got it. Okay, let's see. The law was made that praying to God was bad. Careful. Daniel prayed three times a day to God. Daniel was thrown to the lion's den. Okay, the king was worried that Daniel didn't eat or sleep. The angel shot the lion's mouth. God protected Daniel from the lion. Daniel made it out because God protected him. 
The king punished the man that tricked him. We finally moved on from Bible to reading and writing, and I got Savannah started with her applegrams. We just take out the applegrams, and she normally starts with spelling her name. She has now mastered spelling and writing her first name and has moved on to her last name. While she's doing that, the boys get out their notebook and they get started on their spelling words for the unit. They have 11 words and then an additional 16 words along with their dictation sentences. We usually use the whiteboard for their dictation sentences and the rest of their vocabulary, but I didn't get to film that, so maybe I'll try and film that for you next time. We ended school shortly after finishing up math because we had a visitor. Tia was here and it was a 64 degree day so we headed outside to ride bikes and have a little fun at the park. And because we homeschool we can do that. So we'll just pick up where we left off tomorrow. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you like these videos. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi. And we will see you in our next video. Bye!